We have said that we can use angles to define arcs on the unit circle. We now make the very important observation that the converse is also true. That is to say, you can use arcs to define angles. The particular arcs that we're going to be interested in are arcs that have this point as one of their boundaries. So arcs like that or if we go clockwise instead of counterclockwise, arcs like that. Both of these arcs can be used to create an angle. The x-axis will form one ray and then we'll connect the origin to the other end of the arc and you see we've created an angle like that. Similarly over here, we can create an angle and that seemingly minor observation is going to have some very important results stemming from it.